Nicholas Persen's A Dance to the Music of Time, created around 1638, is a great example of his skill as both a drawer and a colorist. The painting, an oil on canvas, shows his confident lines, careful attention to detail, and balanced use of color. The subtle use of blue and gold, with blue accents guiding the viewer's eye, enhances the circular movement of the dancers. This painting shows Persen's precise and careful composition and technique. Each of his works is based on a complex and well-planned geometrical structure. One of the pleasures of viewing his paintings is discovering this hidden geometry. In this painting, the circular dance is framed within a triangular composition. Among the dancers, one figure stands out, wearing elegant sandals and a garland of roses. This figure represents luxury, enjoyment and idleness. This dancer seems to invite the viewer into the dance, making the painting more engaging. Persen contrasts lasting and temporary elements throughout the painting. The stone bust of Janus, decorated with short-lived flowers, symbolizes this contrast. Janus, the Ronin god with two faces, one young, another old, looks both to the future and the past representing the cyclical nature of time and new beginnings, as symbolized by the month of January, named after him. The bubbles in the painting refer to the idea of homo bulla, or man as a bubble, symbolizing the shortness of life. Like bubbles, human existence is brief and temporary, leaving behind only memories. The male dancer, crowned with laurel, a symbol of virtue and victory, represents hard work. He looks at the figure of wealth, indicating the pursuit of material success and prosperity. Wealth, shown with a garland of pearls, is being held by pleasure, but hesitates to grasp the hand of poverty. Apollo, the sun god, holds a circle representing eternity and symbolizes order and civilized behavior. The maidens following Apollo's chariot are the hours, goddesses of the seasons, whose eternal dance mirrors the dance in the painting's foreground. Aurora, Apollo's sister and the goddess of dawn, leads the way, scattering flowers and dispelling the night. The delicate trees in the background reflect the balance and symmetry of nature. The prominent tree on the left contrasts with the more subtle tree on the right, both set against the stark, bare stone plinths. On the far right, a dancer with a plain linen headdress represents poverty. Her simple appearance contrasts with wealth's adornments as she reaches out to touch wealth's elusive hand, highlighting the fragile and tempting relationship between the two. A winged and bearded figure playing music for the dancers signifies the presence of death in the dance of life. An infant holding an hard glass symbolizes the passage of time, with sand in the upper half indicating that there is still time left in the dance. Nicholas Persen's A Dance to the Music of Time is a rich blend of symbolism and precise composition. It encourages viewers to think about the relationships between pleasure and hard work, wealth and poverty, permanence and transience, and the constant presence of time and mortality. This masterpiece captures the essence of human experience through its detailed and meaningful themes. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Your support helps me continue creating more content like this. Thank you.